Displaying or printing information to the screen in Python is done using the print function. So although we have been filling with data types, up to now we haven't displayed them. So let's first uh, try doing that using the variables we were experimenting with before. So here we have our x, y, z and i variables or integer, float, string and boolean values. Um, save them to a file called gsum underscore python.py or whatever you want to save it as. Um, .py files are Python are the Python file type. So to show each of them on screen, we would use the print function, which is typing print with two brackets. And in order to print all four, let's copy and paste this four times and let's add x y <coughs> z and i and save our file hit run and here we have it the value for x3 the value for y z and i are all printed on the screen we can also print variables without the um, without them being inside variables so for example we could say print 100 or we could say print the string uh, well, I don't know rar and then we could print another string I don't know loud rar so up top we have the data types stored into variables and then here we just have the raw data type so let's click save clear what we have so far click run and here we have it uh, these are the prints of the X Y Z and I and then here we have our printouts of the integer 100 and the string roar and loud roar Okay, so in the previous video, I talked a little about the type function. So let's practice combining it with the print function to show the data type of a variable on screen. We do that by putting the type function within a print function. So let's backspace a bit and say we want to find out what type the x variable is. We do it like that. So let's, let's save and run and from the printing out, printout on screen we can see that the variable x is the integer type. Let's do it for all our test variables that we've used so far. So let's go with four more copy and paste and we can say y, z, i, save. And if we run this again, we see the variables 3, 2.2 cuba, true, and then the, the integer, float, string, and boolean data types. Putting comments in your code is a way to make it more readable, allows the programmer to explain parts of the code to others who might read your code, like a teacher or a team member and also can be used as a way to ignore batches of code you don't want to run. Looking at the code we have so far in our gsum underscore python dot py file, let's put some comments in. To do so, we use the hash special character. So for example, up here, we could say we are declaring variables. And below that, we could say printing with and without uh, variable names, maybe. So printing with variable names and without variable names. And then below that, we could say, I don't know, uh, printing variable type. 
using our type function. And then, yeah, let's save. And then run. And we can see the information we had before, but the comments are ignored by the program. But a human reading your code, including yourself, can make sense, hopefully, of the code. But what if you want to make comments on multiple lines? We do that with triple quotes. Just remember that just like strings, stick with the type of quote you use and don't mix single and double quotes. So let's go back to the top of our save the file and test it out. So go back to the top and let's use triple quotes. I like to start and end with uh, my quotes or whatever I'm opening and closing at the same time and then within our triple quotes we'll make our multi-line comment being gzam.com let's learn python uh, together yeah so here we have triple quotes so if we save clear and run we see our information but the comments are ignored so let's recap we use the print function to display content on the screen you use the type function to find out what type of a variable what type a variable is and use we use the hash character for single line comments or triple quotes for multi-line comments take your time experimenting with these um, things we have covered and when you are ready let's jump into the next video in the series about operators